We're going to explain how to run and execute stored procedures in Oracle SQL Developer. This is a powerful feature allowing you to encapsulate complex SQL logic into reusable units. Here's how you do it. 1. Creating a stored procedure. Before you can run a stored procedure, you need to create one. This involves using the create or replace procedure statement. For example, let's create a simple procedure that adds two numbers. School create or replace procedure. Add underscore numbers. Num1 in number, num2 in number, result out number. As begin result. Equal sign, num1 plus num2. End. This code defines a procedure named add underscore numbers that takes two input numbers, num1 and num2, and returns the sum through an output parameter, result. Swashes at the end is important. It tells Skull Plus or Skull Developer to execute the preceding command. 2. Executing a stored procedure with output parameters. To run a procedure with output parameters, you'll use the execute statement or a begin, end block. Let's execute add underscore numbers. Skull declare sum underscore result number. Begin add underscore numbers. 10, 20, sum underscore result. DBMS output. Put line. The sum is vertical bar vertical bar sum underscore result. End. This code declares a variable sum underscore result to hold the output. Then it calls add underscore numbers, passing in the input values and assigning the output to sum underscore result. Write single quote DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line. Write single quote displays the result. Remember to enable DBMS underscore output in SQL Developer, usually through a setting or by executing set server output on. 3. Executing a stored procedure without output parameters. If your stored procedure doesn't have output parameters, the execution is simpler. Consider a procedure that just prints a message. SQL create or replace procedure. Print underscore message as begin DBM's output. Put line. Hello from a stored procedure. End. To execute this, you simply call it school begin print underscore message end four. Using SQL Developer's Guy. SQL Developer offers a graphical way to execute stored procedures. You can find the procedure in the Connections Navigator, right click, and select Run. You'll then be prompted to provide input values for any parameters. This provides a user friendly interface, especially for procedures with numerous input parameters. 5. Error handling. Real world procedures should include error handling using exception blocks to gracefully manage potential issues. For example, SQL create or replace procedure. Add underscore numbers underscore with underscore error underscore handling. Num1 in number, num2 in number, result out number. As begin. Result, equal sign, num1 plus num2. Exception when others then DBMs. Output, put line, an error occurred. Vertical bar, vertical bar sclerum. End. These steps cover the basics of creating and running stored procedures in Oracle School Developer. Remember to replace example procedure names and parameters with your own. Thorough testing and error handling are crucial for robust stored procedure development.